So yeah, the level one podcast. It's just says he's like, oh, I'm going to own the meme. I'm going to. It's a bad name. Just like your other podcasts, you know, hate live. Yeah, he agrees he's level one. Like, oh, guys, level one podcast. That's where I'm at. Level one forever and ever. I will I will always play Let's Plays and be sad and be bad at video games, guys. I'll always be fucking terrible. Ain't that fucking great. You know what I love about video games being terrible? Are we good to go? Hey, look, guys, give me money. Do you? Here we go. Level one forever. This is what this is what he's proud of. This, instead of just standing on the side and just hitting him, he gets down there in the muck like a bitch. Oh, getting zero dollars for 15 minutes of doing the stream getting 20 dollars doing this stream and the people who have donated to them are losers because this is what they get and they're like we love you phil we love everything do we no they don't That's right. Yes. Thank you for becoming a hoodlum, Aquatil. Uh, that's. They are the real losers, not us. They are the real losers. Like they are. Like you support this man. You are a loser. Yeah. If you really wanted to troll, you call it the unopened case podcast. Hey, I'm just saying. This man never took. Never took branding 101. He never took branding 101. And you're, you're sitting here and saying like, oh, the level one podcast. It's a terrible name. God damn it. He is proud to be a scrub. Yes, he is proud. Okay. A proud scrub. <laughs> a proud safe scumming bitch of a scrub. You are a scrub. And the only thing that you can only have your claim to fame is, or the only thing that you can hold close to your heart is a fourth place win at Evo on a broken port of Street Fighter 2. It's not even the real port, because the real port, you're not even man enough to play. Guys, you know who this guy is. Why are you going to fucking even address it? I, I, seriously, don't address the nonsense of any trolls in the chat. It'll get taken care of. You know? How dare you? Relax. Stop talking about it. When you talk about it, you're giving the attention they need. That's why they come back. In 14 years of content, I know. 14, and it's going to be 10 more years of this. Why learn anything new? Just give me money. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to go back to the pre-stream podcast tomorrow, but I'm just saying just. It, it, it just solidifies everything that is TSP level one podcast. His gameplays level one. His commentaries level one. Everything about him is level one. Even his fucking, even the way he takes care of himself is level one. His wife is level one. Your house is level one. Everything about you is level one. You don't even buy video games. You don't even buy little little controllers and all that shit. You're a level one gamer. You're a level one person. You're a level one bitch. And you want to embrace that? That's fine. That's fine. But if you want to, you want to pretend that you're more than anything you've ever been in your whole life, that you're trying to be this special little snowflake and be this special little guy. And I am the unique one. I am the one that that was the lucky one that made it me re and you're and me re and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got lucky on level one. You got the big ass sword that was eight was encrusted and enchanted and you used it instead of going to level two, you used it on the peasants on level one. And the peasants on level one have out leveled you to level 145 and now kicking your ass. 
but you're using everyone else around you to go like, look guys, I'm still that guy. I'm still special. You were never special, but they only saw you first because they were at level one and we were at the depths of level one. And now we're lapping circles around you. Circles, absolute circles. And you want to be us. You want to care about us. You want to, that's why you want to do these react streams. You're because you want to be us, but you're too much of a bitch to admit it. You're too much of a bitch to admit that we were right. That we, that you tried to change and you can't. You're too stuck in your ways. You're too stuck in your, in your own, in your own house. You try to move out there to be, to be something different, to do all that stuff. Look at you now. Look at you now. You've done nothing. You are nothing and you will be nothing. You'll be stuck here on level one, world one, mission one, all the ones. Because you know why? Because you're a loser. And before, and before people go like, what do you have the house and all that stuff? He had all that shit. The only thing left is the house. And you know what they say? The house always wins. And for people out there that's been struggling and doing all this shit, you didn't earn that house. And you know what happens with people that don't earn their house? They lose their house. And you, you don't wake up every day trying to, trying to get to a point in your life that things get better. But instead, you would rather just sit there and cower like the little bitch that you are. And for everyone else getting flagged and taken down because of shitty copyright and all that other shit. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a scared little bitch and all that stuff because you're scared because you're trying to defend what is left of your empire. If you even had any. And if you want to sit here and, and play video games badly... Like Cuphead in the in the Castlevania safe state scum skate and all that stuff. I watched I watched the Love Fest last night with Piece of Peace and saw you make nineteen dollars and all that stuff. Yeah, look up guides and all that stuff. You're not a gamer. You don't care about this shit. You never look online and go. You know what? I would love to have a Monster Hunter Rise controller. You ever you ever done that, Phil? You ever go online? Or, or that, that Xenoblade special edition that's $100 that people want. You ever do that, Phil? You ever look on yourself? You say that this is your job. This is your hobby. You ever look into your eyes and actually go, I want that? No, not fucking once. Because you don't give a fuck about this. You only care about the money it brings, the money it gives you. That's why you're stuck here at level one. Because you have no passion for anything you have no passion for cuphead you don't have no passion for anything you have zero passion for yourself the only thing that you care about is your fucking fragile little ego and your little in your little puppy friend you both can go fuck off oh yeah he really did change the name of the podcast that is right ladies and gentlemen as of today Big announcement. Yeah, and food. Actually rebranding the pre-stream podcast, which quite frankly, the name pre-stream podcast was just meant to be a placeholder anyway. That one was terrible. It's generic and bland like you. And, uh, that idea has finally arisen. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Level 1 podcast. We're all here having fun. Are, are we? Are we all here having fun? Are you guys having fun? I know you guys are having fun, but <laughs> fuck you, Bill. We are all not having fun. He's always saying that he enjoys playing games, but tips are always low. I know. Don't insult podcasts by calling that a podcast. It's not a podcast. It's a, it's a sad, it's sad old man. It's a sad, sad old man. Yelling at clouds, pretending where the fuck is... Uh, yeah. His life went. It's not. And look, you know what sucks about this? About calling it the love. It really just solidifies how much of a loser you are. Like, if you're going to, you know, when I was coming up with the name Hoodlum Hours, it, it, it provokes, it provokes something. You know, it, it's not checking games. You know what that is. You know, what's a hoodlum? 
a person with, that wears a hood and, and does mischief. That's us. But, you know, there's a lot of connotations to it. A lot of bad connotations, but I went like, yeah, that's who we are. You know, let's go. You know, even, even, uh, Wings even started using the hoodlums because he's morally he's he's bankrupt with ideas. Now I know some people are like, well, it's not the. Uh, I know what someone says. Uh, it's not an original idea, but you know what it is. And then people are like, what the hell is an hours? It you know when you see level one, you're like, yeah, I know it's a podcast that 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 doesn't want to go to level two. It's a lazy podcast that no one gives a fuck about. The lazy show of, of a, for a lazy guy. We are the real hoodlums. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't spark interim. Yeah, hoodlums, hooligans. Yeah, they're all the same. But, you know, that's the thing, right? It, it's all in the name. We know the connotation. But, you know, you can also change the connotation of things all the time. You, you know, it's been so long for that for that word being meaning for anything. Like, this, you know, but it still means something. And I, I'm like, man, that sounds so cool. Like, you know, if Lummox and Hood Hustler and all that stuff, like, it, it represents, it represents what it is. I think he thinks, yeah. Yeah, Raven 3 Hoodlum Havoc. Indeed. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, for him, calling it the level one just makes it just... No thought went into it. No idea of into it. No no deep conversations about it. Yeah, early YouTube dates is completely ripped off AVGM while, with the cursing. And cursing a lot. And not even good AVGN, like, like just going like this fucking sucks and slamming controllers and all that shit. Oh yeah, he's owning it. All right, Forbidden Map. Thank you for, uh, thank you for becoming a member and staying a member. This dude's a bitch. I know I keep saying that, but you know. It's 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 what's in, if you're gonna keep changing your name of your podcast and keep. Resetting it to episode one. Like, what the fuck are you? I got a new job at Graphics Place. Expected a detractor merch in the future. Well, that's that's the biggest ups I ever heard. That's great news, Husky. Everything he has tried is just trying to take the troll saying and memes. Yeah, but this is not even that. <laughs> This is not this is not taking something because we borrowed I borrowed the name in good faith to, to you know I knew I knew I had a lot to live up to and and Lummox is a channel with 25k and all that stuff I know but it's just I just like the idea you can build something around it you know you're like what is a modern hoodlum and you're, you know, you're like very urban, you know, where it's black hoods, you know, like that kind of stuff. Spray paint. That's what, that's what people think. Now he'll be back. Yeah. Spray paint. That kind of stuff. And it's that, that's been like the nineties way of thinking about it. But it, you know, like when you think about that and you go like, okay, what, what can we remix to that? You know? They got Colt if, yeah. I don't think he did. I think he just. I think he privated all his videos. Nope, he's still there with three videos. He's still there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's still there, so. Oh, yeah, it just, he he's, he can't win. I'm surprised how many L's he's taken. Because it's the rawest, and it's DSP saying that, I, you know what, I'm not even going to help him this time. He can go fuck himself. Because, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> DSP's been taking some L's this year. It's almost it's almost insane to see how many L's that this man takes. Down on level one. That's right. So down on level one. That's right. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna talk about the rebrand and why I didn't. We're gonna you, talk about it's a lazy rebrand that you were drunk last night. I got from you guys over the last several. You don't get feedback. You ignore it. We're gonna talk about all kinds of stuff going on. My day off was yesterday, so we got the Phil's day off segment. Sure did. Very interesting schedule for the next week to talk about all right we've got loser to knuckle the hut starting up today and over the weekend that i know you guys are excited for all right so this Hells is for level one to tackle today on the level one podcast all right so before we even get a million foot long pole any of those topics let's talk about the rebrand and why i'm doing this because you're a loser and go from there so L1 for loser. November. I had the idea that instead of just sitting here with a bunch of... Remember, this man, this man, um, what, big up to Aquatil. This man is dumb. I, I, I want you to know that this man... centered his whole... His whole life, his whole existence, and I mean his whole existence one time to the word hate, to the word hate. This man embraced the word hate like there is no tomorrow. No, there will be a back in the day. I'm just saying, this is a man that embraced one of the worst words you can you can embrace is and branding. Hate live. We all know, like, what are you running a skinhead convention? Like, what the fuck, guys? I'm gonna run a sh like. Does that does that is you know? And everyone ignored it because who gives a fuck? It, but you can't like you can't run on that, especially these days. But at the time, he's like, "I'm gonna have a podcast. I'm gonna call it Hate Live. <laughs> it's gonna be great." And then he had an apron that literally said, "The yes, I have to see it." That literally said, "I'm the king of hate." Oh, oh yes, thank you. <laughs> He sure did. And, uh, all right, we'll play that in a tiny bit. Yeah. All right, it was that one. I know exactly what you're talking about, Alfred. You always remind me of Dave Chappelle's old sketch about the haters ball. Ooh, the player haters ball. I, lo I love that one. That was great. Haters ball is great. Now, that's a great name, but you know what that is. <laughs> day segment tonight and it's going to be about my employment history not back in the oh god that we talked about but a little bit get your chain time. back what was the job we've been talking about dsp having a train Ed chain is gone that i held down during college and i'm gonna give a little preview right now it was a little <laughs> company called circuit city <laughs> can you imagine some some dude out there trying to find a place he stumbles upon this. You're like, yes, let's hear some. And you're like, what the hell is this? Which you may not have heard of, especially if you haven't been in the, or you just joined the employment world because Circuit City went out of business a long time ago. But we're going to talk about when I actually worked there for a little over a year, all my experiences at Circuit City. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that you guys will. Imagine Phil trying to help you buy a laptop. Yeah, <laughs> just buy this one. It's expensive. 
stick around. A lot of people say back in the day is the best part of Hate Live. So after not doing a podcast for two months, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that's great. Doing a podcast for two, not in two months. Please give feedback. I'm always looking for constructive feedback at this point. Let me know what you think about my new microphone setup. Let me know what you think about everything. Okay. It sucks and your hair sucks and you right, suck. So ladies and gentlemen, oh, let's go ahead, move up here on my love seat, and let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the past two months. And let's talk about what I've been busy with, why I haven't been able to do an episode of Hate Live. I'll tell you about my plan oh, God. with Hate Live and how I can implement this into my other content. Uh, so hopefully you guys at least get a little bit more <laughs> uh, folding style PC. When <laughs> you just saw everyone Macintoshes. <laughs> this folding style PC doesn't even have an Intel chip in it. It has a it has an Apple chip in it, and you should buy it. it's expensive. Uh, thanks, Sonny. Expect me to do the show. How it's going to be, what format, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Oh, I know, Bangleeks. Welcome to Circuit City. So, Our service is state-of-the-art. You're fired. Second, it was either the second or third week of February 2015. It's been two months. And you might say, Phil, why the hell didn't you do a hate live? You know, some people have actually told me. They said, Phil, even though you are known for gameplay, technically I don't like watching raw gameplay, but I love hearing you speak, whether it's a game review, whether it's your first impressions about something, whether it's just a reaction or a rant video. All lazy and all shit. That you do, and in particular, Hate Live, where you get to kind of encompass everything, all these topics into one. We love that, and, you know, what happened? Why didn't you do one in two months? Well, it was a combination. I'm, I'm here all day, guys. So, if you guys are wondering, I'm here all day. Combination of a lot of things going on together, basically. Uh, first of all, the fact that in February, heading into March... There was a ton of games that all came out back to back. There were, just to give you an idea, in the weeks of February, we had Evolve, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, The Order 1886, Resident Well, happy Canada Day, guys. Break out the maple syrup and the hockey. Break out the maple syrup and the hockey. We're going to shoot off fireworks in the at, at 9.30. Yeah, he is the, I'm the guy who ran the successful YouTube channel. Me, Re, I'm the one. Resident Evil Revelations. Then we actually had, uh... Oh, Canada. In the month of March, okay? We had the continuation of... Yes, enjoy the day. DLC for the, the Evil Within, the first episode of that release. We had an episode of Tales from the Borderlands. We had an episode of... You know what? Tim Hortons is on me, guys. Tim Hortons are on me. Of Game of Thrones. We had um, Bloodborne. I went to attend uh, East Coast Comic Con. Uh, there was all this stuff going on. East. I said East Coast Comic Con. I would say Emerald City Comic Con. Whenever I see ECC, I say East Coast because I used to go to this Tech. championships that was called ECC. So forgive me. Oh, yeah. He talked about he was going to go to the conventions. <laughs> guys. If, if he ever steps out of that fucking bubble, we have to be there. God, do you think we can get a panel before he can? Can we get like a detractor hoodlum panel? And call it the locale panel? We should do, we should get a panel somewhere. We should have like a... Uh, <laughs> Hoodlum life, indeed. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. We should have Jaha. Because this dude's like, we're going to... I I've, I, ran your feedback. I said that we're going to go get... I'm going... You know, he wants to go to a conventions again or pretending that people don't hate him. That's the next subject. The... Hey, Aqua, did you listen to yesterday's pre stream where he's coping hard about he's talking about how people don't hate him anymore? <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've ever heard because he is absolutely trying to pig noses people thinking that people do not hate him. Thank you for the. Ooh, it's guy with two names. Good to see you. 
Hey, I didn't say we're going to shoot him off in Canada. We're shooting him off here. So yeah, he uh, he wants to. And I was thinking, did did uh, conventions reach out to DSP? Did a convention reach out to Dark and go like, "Hey guys, would you like to go to a convention?" Oh, is that that? You know what? That makes total sense. So, to fund a uh, honeymoon, he thinks he's, I'm gonna go to this con, and he's just gonna stay in this. Why would you do that though? But we will be there, though. <laughs> yeah, like a panel and all that stuff. That's what he was doing. Oh, yeah, he must be. That That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, did I... Did I or having a midlife crisis or something. Yeah, I doubt he got. I, I doubt it too, Perk. But it's one of those things like, I wonder, man. I wonder. Sometimes when he says shit, I wonder. Let's get back to. Let's get back to sad business. Running on the stream while I just talked to you without being on camera. Uh, I listened. It's a bad name to wrap your brand around of DSP. As someone that, that has a business degree, it's a bad name. You really can't go up from here. You really can. Like, it, it just screams amateur. Listen to your feedback. And over the years, the feedback you guys had given me was that you wanted me to do an actual no no he's going alone he's gonna try to hire a bodyguard that's going to hate him you know like i said if if i'm gonna go to convention i will if if we live in a perfect if how i would want it sorry i was starting for a second the way i would want it is me jaha or you know aqua teal whoever you know all the people who want to go and be be seen in public. And he goes and, you know, and he thinks like, I'm going to do a panel and my wheelchair is going to show up. Like, like, do you understand we're going to be there too? Like, what's he going to do? Ban us from the fucking building? Like, at, like, you're not going to ban us from the building. We're bigger. Like if you if we came with an entourage or whatever with more people like oh this this is our crew and we're all civil and polite well as polite as we can be yeah there's no way he'd show up without a bodyguard or something oh yeah he would never show up and and if he and if he does a panel it'll be us in the panel it'll be us we would be at that panel. You think you think Malcolm will be at the panel? No. Do you think do you think whatever these these weirdos would be? Do you think Rob on Wheels or any of these people would come to a DSP panel? Maybe OIC, but OIC's a wet bitch, so who fucking knows. Yeah, you think Slayer's gonna come all the way from Singapore to sing to the yeah. Darish, do you think Derek is is gonna come all the way from Canada Day and 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 see this panel? No, we'll be over there. And we, you know, in an open mic, he's like, I'm gonna open up the you like you're gonna ban the people that that you don't like. No, that's not how panels work. Well, on screen podcast every day, as opposed to. If I was going to do it off camera, it was kind of in. What are you going to do? Have your bodyguard check the list and go like, you can't come in. You can't come in. You can't come in. Personal. It was kind of silly. It was kind of stupid. Right? And, you know, for a while, I was very resistant. I was like, you guys see me on camera all day when I'm playing the game. Why do you need to see me on pre-stream? Right? I don't know, Phil. Why does anyone need to see you at all? A lot of people always kind of wrote off my pre-stream, saying that it was a waste of time. 
Saying they didn't understand it. She just blocks the door. Gameplay right away. What I was trying to do, what a lot of people didn't understand, is I was trying to diversify my content, okay? As I talked about recently when I turned 40 years old a couple of months ago, I know I can't continuously play. Can we buy the Nerf bazooka? <laughs> Can we buy the Nerf bazooka? That'd be fun. I want the Nerf bazookas when we go, when we go to this thing. There's a uh, Nerf bazooka for $180. <laughs> Someone say boo this man? All right. Boo this man! He is a bazooka. Yeah, he is the bazooka bullshit. Play video games full time for the rest of my life. Still up with water guns. I like to make content for as long as I possibly can. I have an audience for it. I have people who enjoy everything that I'm doing. I have an audience for it. <laughs> so, that being said, um, open. I wanted to find a way to branch out and do different stuff. By doing a podcast every day, as opposed to just jumping right into gameplay, it gives me an opportunity to cover important topics that I... You imagine if I started every stream of Hoodlum Hours, doing this stream every day is really beneficial. You guys know this. You know how we roll. We don't, we don't play around. We don't do anything. An intro, we're in it. That's it. We're not, we don't, do, we don't do howdy do's. We don't do what you plan. We're in it. I feel I want to talk about on a daily basis. What's up, first of all? What's up, everyone? It's about my streams and my schedule or my personal life and stuff going on. Whether that be stuff going on in society in general or maybe topics you right past eight. You open Q &A. Wandering Dream. It also gives me an opportunity to do shout outs for those who support. I think some of them, some of his fans do. I think the problem going forward for DSP, and I'm sure AT and a lot of us realize that, and some of us detractors have to realize, and you're Alice Telemon, and you've been watching this man since the fucking Stone Age, is he's not the same DSP of old. Actually, he's not just the same DSP, he's a bitch. And these days when when faced with some multiple odds to change to go with the times he wouldn't and when when you had opportunities to have something even if it doesn't work out it's fifty thousand dollars and when you have those opportunities and all that stuff, and sometimes you just got to make deals with stuff that you don't want to do to do to get to where you need to be. And I had to learn that the hard way. And if you know, like I said, the next few days in DSP gaming is going to be calling. It really is. For anyone out there that is a, a, a detractor or or him, like if he's going to make $38 or $25 or one minute man's already a loser. <laughs> he's already a loser. So he's going to keep donating uh, $25 forever and ever and ever and ever. And it's one of those things. It's like, I don't want to say it's, you know, it's one of those things. I don't want to say it's over, man, because we're still kind of early into it, you know, and yeah, infinite 25 bucks. Like, I, I don't, I don't know, but you know, when you have steel toe morning shows, shouting out aqua teal and everything, except me, I'm, I'm always forgotten. Just like, just like my sister always forgotten. But that's okay. That's okay. But it's it's one of those things. It's just people don't want you. They they want us. We're the rock stars now. And that's the difference. Before we were like even a year ago, we were shunned and, you know, people like, oh, those DSP detractors, blah, blah, blah. Who wants to be one of the 
we are rock stars. Like they're they're, you know, that's the thing. No, I'm sure he's gonna make another channel and all that stuff. But I have I have ideas what what to do about another person. Yeah, to a point, yes. Well, yeah, it's just this week's been pretty nuts, and that's why we've been at 11. No, this does not make us the flock. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it would be. I got to pay for my flight home. Yeah, like, that's the thing that he doesn't... Before, he used to demonize us. He used to tell us how much we suck and paint the narrative there's a lot of us kicking his ass all day, every day, and doing a really good job at it, and and looking way better than it ever did. Like the you know piece of piece last night stream was always always a banger, and the like everyone is just yeah took a while to air the SOK out. It did. It, it took a while. It took a while. It took a, a few years, but it's SOK is so long ago. So long ago. Like, that's like, it's like going into like, into like the ancient tomb of Detractorville. Yes, positive piece of peace. Great, great stream yesterday. Like going into a tomb and seeing all the spider webs, and you're like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Yeah, like that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's like an alternate timeline. Ah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to cause a riot, but if you ask me, I think we should do the uh <laughs> I mean come on. If he does a panel and we're all there, we're gonna be screaming at him about WWE champions and shit. But we have to whatever, we can do whatever we want. Like at this point, you know, every question is gonna be uh do you play WWE champions? He won't even get to speak for anything. He's, we would just get him. You think this man's going to do a panel and, and get to the podium without someone going, show us your WWE champion thing? It, it would, I mean, literally, we would get him. Maybe not hands, but we would get him. He wouldn't even, that. you think this motherfucker would show up to a panel? Yeah, you think this dude's going to show, yeah. And I don't mean hands or any of that stuff. We're going to get them. No, it's going to be a hundred percent detractor event. How, how would you, how would is, do you want to go to a panel and think I'm a DSP fan? We're going to get you. Like <laughs> you like this guy, you like the guy watching his switch. DSP told me not to talk to you. Do you listen to your parents too? Do you listen to your parents too? Do you, you know? Do you still live with them? Does your parents, does your, does your, uh, does mommy and daddy tell you it's bath time? <laughs> if there's any of them left and continue to support these streams on a daily basis so that we can get that out of the way. And when we actually jump directly into the gameplay, we can focus on the gameplay. Perfect example. Oh, it's going to be wheelchair accessible, but we're going to get them anyway. From five years ago, I'll call Cuphead. Ah, no. But, uh, I have to repay the favor. Welcome. Welcome. The mob boss and the hoodlums were, you know... I was gonna say, and the fat lady gets it, but there you go. Yeah, you see, even the mirror cat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, joining the mob. I didn't join the mob. I kept saying there was a DLC. It took five years to come out. When I start playing this today, 
I, I want to start playing this today. I don't want to boot the game up and it oh, everyone has a million questions for me. It, 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 I can confirm it does work. Why pay DSP anything? You don't get anything out of it. <laughs> it's a lot of content. Why pay for anything DSP does? You don't do anything. His podcast is stuck on level one. His gameplay is this. Are you going to just complain all night? Just leave that. I mean... Jesus! <laughs> Nothing wrong with a first playthrough of Castlevania, but Jesus. I don't want any drama to yet. I have one piece of help. A single one. There's no way I'm... Again, I need to find a way to, to keep negating their bandages. I think it has to do with axe tosses. That it, a time to axe tosses will negate their attacks. As soon as he starts running, you're fucked. If you're not at the edge of the screen, you can't get out of the way. There's no way. You can't jump high enough. Yeah, I was listening last, last yesterday with the Pikachu hat and the loot crate stuff. Big ups to that, to you, Mob, and uh, that being said, podcast. Such good shit going on. You still fucking hit. But I try to listen to all of it, but you know, yeah, so you can't get impossible to listen to all of this. Oh, what I'll do is I'll go over to that side and step on the platform. And Stay on the platform, idiot. <laughs> Or go to the other platform and just stand there. Yeah. Doing slightly better. Oh shit, I fucked up. See, this is the platform. This is the, uh... I can't really focus on... I mean, this is what he want money for? Like, he got the appropriate amount of money. Actually, the appropriate amount of money is $0 for that, but $19? Yeah, he's in full panic mode. Like, man, it's really not happening for you, Phil. On the game, especially a game like this that's going to be very attention demanding. It's Dave. I'm watching his mirror. Yeah. Content creators aren't like that. They turn From Mr. Roddy Boom. Hangout session, and even though they boot up a game. What the fuck does that... Why is that bad? Why is that bad, you sack of shit? Why is that bad? A lot of content creators aren't like that. They turn on their, their stream and their stream is their hangout session. And even though they boot up a game, they don't really focus on it. They're just kind of dicking around when they talk with their audience. Uh, it shows in depressed look on face with, with crappy gameplays. Yes. Yeah, we're going to, we have, I have a segment coming up that. Jared Barton donated We're talk $5 about. million dollars through Super Chat. I'm Phasative Gooey's DSP. Show sad, depressed look on face with crappy gameplay. <laughs> I'm Phasative, guys. <laughs> really, really, Robot Lady? Phasative? It's positive. Not Phasative, but we'll, we'll teach Robot Lady some of the words in a little bit. Not Phasative. He had a photon laser. <laughs> Thank you for the five Australian dollars. Yeah, that barely buy a Gensu knife, dude. Gotta step it up. It's all right. And <laughs> even though there's definitely streams that I like doing that, I call them chill streams. This is not one of them, and mostly... <laughs> These are not one of them. Time streams are not those kind of games. These are games that I want to make solid progress in, you see? So all that being said, all right... Solid progress in... I feel that this is uh, meaningful to do a podcast every there day. There it is, right there. I feel like it's doing meaningful. Bill, nothing you do is meaningful because you don't like people. You do not talk to people. You do not prop up people. You do not want. You do not want to be around people. You do not encourage people. You are the only thing you encourage is yourself. The only thing that they encourage is give you money, only money. You create an environment only that 
that you have to be the center of attention and only you. And you don't like that. You're you're not the center of attention. You never was. We have a robot lady. Yes, when we when people tip, we have a robot lady. And Justin, we have Justin and Robot Lady. Yeah, so Robot Lady only shows up for to read out the messages. <laughs> Cause sometimes I, I might miss something, you know, and reading it back is good. If Keem starts starting a DSP detractor stream like DDM would, would you support or do you think it would be a fragment of the a fragment of the community? We already have that show. Like we already have that show. Is that being said? It would just be a more high I mean, how much high budget can you get? That that show's pretty good. It's very good. Like it is as close to that show is probably one of the most professionally produced shows of a podcast you'll ever have on DSP. Like, like it is, is that good? Donated five Australian dollars through Super Chat. With me giving five dollars every time, does that make me the hoodlum one minute man? Me giving you five dollars every minute. <laughs> I think, I think I have to leave and go somewhere else but yes but i don't leave anywhere i don't take a break and leave like like he does and then come back and go like i got 25 dollars um what is seven yeah about 125 eight thousand a year like he's the ultimate loser like none of these people look at it and go, "Wow, why am I supporting supporting this bitch?" <laughs> yeah, but I don't leave anywhere. When do I go? Hey guys, going on break for my small three hours. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back, guys. When do I ever go, man? You know what, guys? Let's take a break. Now we did it. We did a five-hour stream yesterday. We did no breaks. The only break I did once was probably Monday to change the laundry and shit. That was it. That was the only break. It's is what they do, man. That just shows how at our size growing. Like I get it. You're like all oh, these people are coming in here. Like they're really not. Like August the duck was kind of lactose, lactose duck. I mean, you know, but the actual community to keep it together, like, you know, like Meerkat and everyone else, like we're, we still have our community with Meerkat and piece of peace and, and, and lead and the rest of us, like none of us are going away. It, it just, it just shows how those people like that Keemstar and the, they, they appreciate what we do. We're not, we're not the social outcast of the, of the internet world. Like we were, like we were, I would, you know, probably a few years ago being a, yeah, like it just shows how, how this community and him is such a interesting place to be kind of, kind of. I mean, he don't want to ever, he don't want to admit it. He want to pick nose these people. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to call it a break. I'm like, hey guys, going on break, going to, going to work now. Or these days I would go like, hey guys, someone fucked up. Gotta end the stream in an hour. <laughs> Gotta end the stream in an hour. Sorry. And this this week, it's been good that we can just end the stream. Sometimes I have to go like, well, guys, got to end the stream. Got to end it now. It's like, what? <laughs> not a not a gone, not a not a anything. Just a hard stop. <laughs> the Yeah, still chose almost entirely DSP at this point. 
Yeah, but you know, they, they're they're really excited about their audience and all that stuff. They have 300 viewers and all that stuff, you know? If DSP is just a segment, that's fine. I'm sure they'll move on or move off, all that stuff. They, they just want to see what, what audience is out there, you know? Not a bad thing, you know? And if they say good things or good things to us like they, they're they going for us they're going they're, they're their play is us and i i don't want you guys to see it as a bad thing because they're not going after dsp's fans or him they're going after us we're the bigger audience we're the bigger target yeah, they're the bigger target. So, if anything, it's cool to see other streamers and other shows targeting the detractor community than targeting his audience. Instead of like, oh man, we got to get the bigger audience as DSP. They're like, nah, those people are gone. They, those people are... Yeah, the oh yeah, the people that want to know more will make their way to the OG detractors. Absolutely, but I, you know, like I said, there's a lot out there. You know, do I think uh, a uh, fifty thousand team star detractor? I always think if there was a high budget, big production, bigger production, it shouldn't be a year. It should be like a few episodes. It should be a series. Like a five episode series. Like you can't sustain something that long. Those of the detractors, detractors that are left, indeed. I just wish that Wings Trolls would chip in. Imagine TSB being locked out of his PSN accounts news broadcast, seeing that he has another. He died in another country for a thousand. No, that's not going to happen because TSP's lame. Yeah. We'll just say this. He's a loser, too. He's hell bent, but what's. But look, you know what the good news is? You know what the good news is? He made $20 last night. He made, what, 60 bucks overall? And it's really just the question is, I wonder if him being a loser beggar is going to stick. I wonder if it's going to get to the pig pen that everyone knows that this man's a loser beggar. And uh, look, I I've lost hope on him ever realizing anything. He is too. And at the end of the day, we're a community. We can always bounce back from that. And he will always be a loser trying to defend the biggest two losers you ever seen, who is Wings of Redemption and this sack of shit. Trying to, you know, there's a lot of people trying to trying to abuse the copyright system because they don't like censorship and they want to they want to stand by their their loser man instead of just fostering things. This is what happens when you get too big. Like DSP, he's too scared to actually start over. You can see that. He would rather stay at level one than start over. Well, he's having a mental breakdown now. Now. You think this motherfucker wants to do this all day? You think he wants to play Castlevania badly like this? He's not even the same asshole that he was yeah. three years ago, let alone five years ago. We're getting there. We're getting there. Why am I toxic? Okay. Phew. Like, he's still trying to pretend that he's something. And every day, every fucking day that he wakes up to his sad, miserable lives when he puts on his... I don't know. I don't know why, but whatever. He's, he's, I know he knows this, that every day 
it's slipping out of his hands. Every day, it's slipping out of his hands. Every day that, you know, yes, we do content on every day, but it's slipping out of your hands. You are the puppet. Instead of the other way around where you used to call us the puppet, when you used to be all that stuff, you used to be something and you use all that, all that ego and hubris because you were making good money. And now, now you have to rely on your ever shrinking audience to get you out of jams and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden in 2022, in 2020, you were riding high with other people's money with the vest streak and hat streak. And those people are gone. And then 2021, uh, you still had a pretty decent year. Okay. You got kicked off of Twitch, but that's, that's okay. You had a pretty decent year. You got an Xbox and you wanted to change your content around. And then something happened. We all got together and we all started kicking your ass. Yeah, Super Puppy can all do his own thing and and flag all the channels, but you can't take us all down. You can't take us all down when you have we have uh, Keemstar and Steel Toe and the rest of these motherfuckers coming after you. You can't you can't take us all on, and we're smarter than you. We're way smarter than you. Yeah. You just store that a bunch of King Cobra and two eleven forty ounces. He would. I'm sure he did that on on his day off. <laughs> they could probably do that, but they have to really. No, it's it's isn't it linked to his phone? They broke into Winks' phone, so anything's possible. Morning. Previously, when I didn't call it a podcast, people would say, "Ah, eh, just shorten the pre-stream and end the pre-stream and get to the game." Now, I'm not just a gamer. I am an internet content creator, a YouTube. Bill, you're not a gamer because you don't buy fucking controllers. I know people are like, "What's with you and this these controllers?" Bill Burnell does not buy special edition controllers. Do you even buy anything you're excited about in gaming? You like if it doesn't come in like I know you used to buy those special edition packages and stuff, but since you moved to Washington, you ever like go online and go, man, I bought this this thing for gaming and I really liked it. Oh man, I bought this amiibo the other day. Or man, I you know I'm really a big fan of this game, so I bought. It's like arcade sticks. Like you really really spend the bare minimum on gaming, and the only thing that you care about is those fucking little neck phones that you paid. Thirty dollars? No, they're they're worth they're they're worth thirty dollars because they're shit. You're trying to pass it off like it's the best convention ever because you're too much of a bitch to realize what's out there. Right. YouTuber, I run a podcast every day, and it's become a. No, you don't run a podcast every day. You run you run a fucking old man video that you put up on your feed calling that podcast. Staple piece of my content. For the past seven months, it's been a part of my content every single day, okay? No, it's been part of your content for like six years every single day. The only difference is you have a border and everyone sees you every day. In fact, it's been pretty funny because some people in the last, you know, six months or so have actually come out and said, I watch your podcast or listen to your podcast behind the scenes because let's be honest, the podcast behind the scenes what are they doing when i hear behind the scenes it's like it's like going to like a place that you didn't want to go and like oh man honey let's make it it's like behind the scenes what the fuck does that mean behind the scenes it's like did you go behind the the alleyway to have like a smoke like Bill, I'm embarrassed of you. I'm so embarrassed of you. I go behind the building to listen to your to your podcast. I don't even go in the front of the building. I go in the Burger King back lot, smoke it up to listen to your podcast. Because God dang it, if anyone out there finds out I'm listening to this to this sad level one podcast, I'm People are gonna get mad. They're like, "What are you listening to, Level One Podcast?" Damn, I'm getting away from you. Podcast is usually just dialogue, me talking about topics and interacting with you guys. All right, you have to watch it. I'll check it out in a minute. You stare at my ugly mug for an hour every day. Of course you don't. Who cares? You stare at it every day because you suck. Come on here, have a different head, right? But anyway, different head. The good thing about this is that 
it has diversified my content. There's people who come here and say, you know, I don't even watch the gameplay every day. If it's a game I'm interested in, I yeah. Why 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 would they watch the gameplay every day? Like this is what they get. Riveting stuff, DSP. It's not even you failing, it's just bad. I, right here. I swear to God I did. Wow. It's not even you failing, that's not even the point of it. Yeah, I'm, it's fucking annoying. I swear over that band before. Thank you, Chocobogo, for a tip. Yeah, that's all it is. Full screen, you're pretty fucked. You have to be into this. It seems like there's no. Yeah, it's so chill and positive. Stick around. But half the time. Indeed. I'm interested in the game, but I still come and I watch the podcast or I listen to my podcast every day. It's part of my. No, seriously, I get everyone out here is frustrated and. And all that stuff. I get it. I get it. And. Yeah, because Wings actually wants to play Rainbow. He's not that good at it, but he wants to play Rainbow. DSP plays Street... Just like how DSP plays Street Fighter, DSP's playing Street Fighter to convince himself that he's still something. Like, Wings plays Rainbow because he knows that's what brings the people to the yard and he enjoys it, kind of. But, you know, like I said, these those two are lying to each other so much. Lying to each other. Lying. Every fucking day. They're lying to each other. Lying. <laughs> lying. Absolute lying. <laughs> Yo, this song is great. So, it's one of those things. It's like, you're going to sit here and you're going to lie to us. You're going to lie to the people out there and go, you know, like DSP, you ever looking, you know, like DSP never plant a flag and go like, you know what? This is me. We plant flags all the time. DSP don't know who the fuck he is. He's not a gamer. He's not anything. The only thing he is is a gin brain idiot that plays WWE champions that, that is too scared to even admit that he wasted thousands of dollars on uh, of other people's money on a fucking mobile game instead of something cool like a fucking controller. Yeah, diversify his content and thought he could do the same. LTG is more he, he's he's good at no not good at it. LTG can do that because he he listens to things, you know. He's an interesting man at that point, you know. You kinda like, okay. Like I heard the man talk. Like you have to have points to think. He's like react and it's like you don't react. You literally, you, you are the where's Waldo of fucking reactions. Look over there. Where's Waldo? Look what's happening on stream. Like you bring nothing to the fucking table of this. Great. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the delicious last course. I I hate when you do this because that's why you're stuck on level one. Welcome to the delicious last course. Give it up, man! I actually just started recording. <laughs> Alright, fast forward. Alright, clong clong. Clong clong. <laughs> he just fronts right into him. Uh. This sucks. How the fuck did he beat this game before I did? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ignore DSP failing and just look at the beautiful art in the background. Then he, then he does that. I'm not ready for it. This sucks. You know what? Here, I'm gonna go play the real game now. This is fucking terrible. I don't know where their health bars are if they have any. The fat lady gets it. I need to get the the last stage because uh, we're gonna get to that today. Oh, I took a hit. Shit. I don't know what's going on. I, I took a hit. I don't know what's going on. I guess the red hits you. No shit. Oh, the red hits you. Oh. No. Works. Damn, it's going so fast. I got her. 
Phase two. Now we're on to phase three. Holy shit! Ah, uh, I dashed instead of roll. What the hell? I did it! Oh, nice! We're gonna try Esther Winchester, High Noon Hoopla. We're on a plane. What the hell is this? This is different. I just focus on what's going on in the game. No, I thought vacuum sucked her in. Ha ha ha. What the hell? She put the sausage links. I missed the, the parry. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. What the hell? I did it. Man, he is so deadpan when he says, I did it. I'm all yelling at the game and telling it's a bitch. It's okay. Yes, awesome. Woo! DSP, are you dead inside? This God, man, no wonder you're in a sexless marriage. You can't if you can't get excited about beating a level in fucking Cuphead. You can't get off your wife. Like just, just you just can't. You sit here and go like, man. Honey, it's time for it's time for sex. He's like, ah, God, they don't fuck. Before someone's like, hey, they don't fuck. Like, that was the most depressing thing I've ever seen. No wonder you made forty dollars. Go fuck yourself. So bad you want to try in turns? Indeed. DSB's like, I can't wait till it's over. DSB's not playing the game because he enjoys it. He's playing it. He's like, I can't wait till this over, man. I, I just want to blast through this and eat this as quick as possible. No, I enjoy all this animation and all this greatness that's going on in the game and, you know, all the labor of love about this. Nah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he has, he has a power walk for 40 days to get that much. No way to avoid it. That was fantastic because <sighs> my daily ritual because your daily ritual is meaningful. I like hearing more about Phil than necessarily every game that Phil plays because every game that Phil plays is bad and he's bad at it and his commentary is bad and you don't appreciate the game. You don't appreciate anything. And he doesn't buy controllers. Phil, why don't you buy controllers? Phil, you don't buy controllers. I, I don't I don't get it. You do not buy controllers. You don't go out there and buy controllers. This man buys controllers. You do not buy controllers. For that extra bit of change, you get this nice looking box. The front as well as the sides have this purplish background art and show off the controllers. The features listed on the back are all standard. People are probably like, what the fuck are you going on about? Uh, I, I buy, I buy controllers. I buy Switch controllers, and I, I, I did buy this, and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I buy Switch, I buy Switch Pro controllers, because I, I need them all. <laughs> So, this podcast has absolutely, positively yeah. become a staple part of my content, and people really enjoy it. So, I'm happy about that, and obviously... I have to keep my... Uh, that happened to my Splatoon controller, man. And also, when you have the uh, Golden Dragon, you would need the White Dragon. I mean, someone's like, that makes zero sense. In my head, it did. Poor shit, I mean... This podcast gets roughly anywhere from 500 to 1,000 views within 24 I mean, I, hours every day and then gets residual views after that. So obviously there's a lot of people who are interested. I mean, I'll have three of these and that's, I don't think I need any more, but who knows. 
more of a dedicated viewership just for the podcast, which is great, okay? Now, that being said, pre-stream podcast... It's bad. Good. It's more like, is this a pre-stream? Is this a podcast? It's both, but then is it a show in itself, or is this just a way to kill time before you start playing? You see... <laughs> I think someone said it yesterday. This whole stream's a waste of time, Phil. In reality, the name never really fit it, Okay. This absolutely is a dedicated show that I do every day. In yeah. Fact, as of this morning. <laughs> are you right? As of this morning. It just solidifies that you're a loser. Podcast. Episode 182. I've done 182 of these since I started doing them back in November. Okay. So. Obviously, it's something of uh, of merit here. Of I've merit. <laughs> To have a better name for it. I never really didn't come up Not with a better it. name. It sucked. Pre-stream podcast until we come up with a better name. All right? Yes, so dolphins are great. Combination of facts. They're very smart and they... Uh, I came up with this name. They they have uh, echolocation. All right, number one. DSP doesn't even have echolocation. You don't even know where he is. Right? What is level... No, it's not. Well, when you start a video game, you always start on level one. Whether it's an RPG... Oh, or those or are terrible. You're right. ...over the course of the game... Or whether you're playing a platform, I need to, the first stage of the first level. I need to start level. buying a few more controllers. The level one podcast basically means this. I need to start buying a few more controllers with the Xbox and PlayStation. Like the Switch keeps getting controllers, and I'm like, the start of our streaming day. We're starting here on level one, and over. I guess that's my problem. I really like the Pro controller. A lot of people don't, but that's okay. So it makes perfect sense. Controllers are expensive. You'd think they would be. Better at it. At a particular piece of shit human out there who wants to try to make fun of us. Not just me, but us in general. Basically look at Yeah, super down. smart too, dude. Oh, Corvids? Absolutely. YouTuber, you're not filthy fucking rich. You're down there at level one. Phil, there's a lot of people there's a lot of people that are out there that didn't even get a chance to be on level one, let alone be able to start the game. You had the opportunity to go to level two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and beat the game. And what did you do? You didn't. You didn't go to the next level. You didn't do any of that shit. And you're you're over here bitching and moaning about, oh, I had a chance to get to level one. It's very cozy here. Yeah, it's very cozy because you're you're stuck in a rut and you like being there. You don't want to. You don't want to challenge yourself. You don't want to be anything better than that. You bought your house and you want to sit there forever. There is no up for you. This mountain's done. You're done. For anyone out there that thinks DSP is gonna bounce back or on any of that shit, and we're gonna, he's gonna take take down clipping channels because it makes him look bad. He makes himself look bad. Like, why would anyone want to go to a stream? Where an old man in his 40s refuses to change, refuses to do anything different, refuses to upgrade anything, learn anything, do anything. This old dog doesn't want to learn new tricks. This old dog wants to, wants to give you the same tricks and think that it's new. This man doesn't know anything, doesn't want to do anything, just want to sit here and with his little stupid little red shirt and his stupid little haircut and his stupid little little mustache that he got going there looking all pale and jaundice looking while he's trying to figure out why is everyone hate him these days and why he's trying to keep the pig noses going and everything that's going on in his life is failing behind him for the first time ever you're in a position that you do not like a position that you have to embrace that you might have to embrace something that you never ever ever in your whole youtube career in the 14 years of your sad existent little miserable life Failure. You might have to embrace failure. You might have to see the bottom is bottoming out. You might have to see people are, are sick of you. They're tired of you and all that shit. And you might have to see the bottom of it. But we don't know. We don't know. We don't know if that's going to happen yet. We don't know if that's going to happen. But you know what? We're going to see it happen. And you're going to just sit there every day hoping Hoping to God that one of these deadhead motherfucker losers 
Step up to the plate and give your money. Give you your 150 that you demand and want. Demand and want because that's what you want. Because you think that you're Mr. Man and you're the best that out there. I do good stuff. Instead of now people are getting their, their streams and their podcasts from somewhere else. Because you failed them over the fucking years of them over there. You failed them. You failed them. I mean, they gave you chance after chance after chance after chance. You were on level one with 98 lives. And you used every single life. And now you're down to your last three lives. Now, you don't you you haven't done the you haven't done the thing to get you to level two to get to the sponsorships, to get to everything else, to get there because you wasn't good enough. Because you shunned everyone away with your ass holiness and all that other clips. You can blame us, but it's really you. You can sit here and go like, oh, new games are gonna save me. You, sir, you might have to embrace something you never saw before. And, you know, you might have to look in the mirror and realize that the new rock stars are here and they're better than you ever be. You know, gone are the days of the LSBs and Tevins, who I love. I love those guys. You know, big ups to them. We're the rock stars. We're the rock stars that, that are coming for it. And you, you are the bitter old man that is holding up the old guard while everyone tries to prop you up and try to do that. You're weekend at Bernie's. You're not even Bernie. You're, you're just a corpse sitting there trying your best to be the man that you were. But you'll never be a man because that would mean that you would have to actually admit some faults. Too bad you'll never admit some faults. And you'll always be stuck here at level one. You'll always be stuck here. Because you fail to embrace what is good. You fail to embrace what needed to be done. That's why you're here. And you'll stay here. Because putting it over your head, that's what that means. You're a failure. And you embrace it. Congrats. Congrats on your failure. Congrats that that all this time of machinima and all the time to you putting up raw gameplay is because you were lazy and you're a failure. Yeah, congrats. Congrats that all this time of putting up all this shitty gameplay and all this stuff and WrestleMania and all that stuff that used to go with Rambo and all that stuff. Admit that you couldn't get it done by yourself. Because you, sir, cannot hack it. Well, you know what? It's nice at level one. Take a look around. Take a look at the, oh, level one of any video game, okay? You're yeah, it's level one of any video game. You're supposed to learn things on it. But you don't. You don't. Because at level one, you have a cheat guy and all the guys. And you still can't get it done. Usually level one is typically a nice place or the nicest place in a video game. You got nice greenery, you got nice scenery, you got a nice open world to it. That's great. The game mechanics, you're having a chill and fun time. All that difficult, crazy shit is coming up later in the game, and you know that. But you don't you buy controllers. You sink into a game. And really you don't buy anything gaming related. So I'm perfectly happy to be here on level one and have a great time with my viewing audience every single At least Ann Lee really wanted a Xenoblade special edition, do you? Yeah. Rub your nose at us and say, oh, you little little shits down there. You never did anything. Well, guess what? Fuck you. I don't care. I'm happy where I am. I have a good life. I have a good audience. We have a great time here today on level one. So everyone, welcome to that level one podcast. And I hope that you're having a good time and you're ready. No, I'm having a bad time. I hope so. <clears throat> We're going to have a good time, my friends. All right. No, no, we won't. Okay. Okay. And then he drinks from his fucking seltzer bottle. All right, I'm going to. Cut it here so we can get the filth day off. It's my day off. But the castle crumbled and you're left with the name. You're crowned the king of nothing.